Uncle Tim Twitter trend exposes the systemic racism of the new left. And I'm calling this video GOP Senator and Black Man Tim Scott labeled Uncle Tim by Dean NC Twitter. And if you don't get the reference, Uncle Tom is, uh, I think it's uh, uh, Uncle Tom's cam. And Uncle, Uncle Tom is a, a black slave who was comfortable in the mansion, in, in the master's mansion, and did the bidding of the master, helped the master rule over the other slaves. He was like a high-class slave, really. So that's essentially what they're calling Tim Scott. They're calling him a high-class slave, which is not racist at all. How dare a black human being in this land have ideas that don't match the, the fundamentalist, the right-wing fundamentalist ideology of the DNC? If you're outside the right-wing fundamentalist ideology of the DNC and you're black, you're an Uncle Tom. If you're not black, then, well, I should say person of color, whatever that means, that demonizing term where we lump all human beings into two categories, the quote-unquote white and the quote-unquote person of color. That's not demonizing or demoralizing at all, but never mind that. That's a whole other story. So Tim Scott, GOP response, Uncle Tim, take token racist Twitter. That's the... That's the topic that we're looking at, which originally I called this topic report. Tim Scott deemed Uncle Tim for failing to be DNC compliant while black. So he is basically political while black is his crime. Political while black. Oppositional while black, really. From the nationalreview.com, Senator Tim Scott on Thursday morning slammed critics of his response to President Biden's, Biden's address to a joint session of Congress saying that Twitter trend... Uncle Tim shows that the American left, the American right left, call it the right left, because it's really not leftist at all. It is the right left. And by that I mean, as I'm going to say over and over again in these videos, drill it into people's heads. By that I mean that they, they use all of the language of the left. They, they promise the same people who have been promised by the left in, 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 in the past and getting relief from the actual injustice in the land, but they do it using the tactics of the far right. They're extremely authoritarian, moral supremacists who will not accept dissent of any kind. So just want to make sure, just stop calling them the left. There is no left in America today. It is the far right and the right. The Republicans are on the right and the left is on the far right. It has been an amazing morning with so many good people calling, but the left has doubled up. The right left has doubled down, Scott said Thursday during an appearance on Fox. You cannot step down out of your lane, according to the liberal elite. It says left, but right left. We're going with right left, folks. Right left. And then here's another thing from National Review. Literally attacking the color of my skin. So Senator Tim Scott on Thursday morning slammed critics of his response to President Biden's address to joint sessions of Congress saying the Twitter trend Uncle Tim showed the American left, right left is committed to a racialized politics that leaves no room for dis good faith disagreement. Well, you, you don't have any room for a good faith disagreement when you have on one side you have the American quote unquote right, the traditional quote unquote right that relies upon its power upon the idea, ideational power of King Bill, the Bill of Rights. Now, I'm not saying that the American right actually lives out the Bill of Rights in a, in a, in a fully continual manner. They, they apply the Bill of Rights very, I'll say, injudiciously. But nevertheless, it is a legitimate vehicle of power for them. So they, they stand on that. And then you have the other side, an ideational construct, a revengetarian, absolutarian, moral supremacist ideology that cannot exist in a land in which human beings are assumed to be sacred in and of themselves, to be made in the image of God. And that's what the Bill of Rights reflects. It reflects this idea that human beings have a sacredness in and of themselves. They are not here for your purpose. They are not here for you to make them in your perverse, upside-down Christ image. They are here of their own accord. So the purpose of society is to allow a space where diverse beliefs, thoughts, whatever, are allowed to coexist amongst one another under one unity, and that unity is King Bill. So there is no room for for this. And this is what the American right has long failed to understand about the, the right left, is that there is no negotiating with terrorists. And that's what these people are. They rely on terror and fear 
to force human beings into their their, their perverse upside down cross boxes so they continue to make human beings in their a- image rather than recognizing the image of God in all of us. More headlines here's from Crooks and Liars. Uh, yeah, Crooks and Liars, almost as bad as Politics USA, not quite. Uh, they're, they're the right left, awful right left. Uh, uh, well, the awful right left blogs on a scale of one to ten in reliability, I give them maybe a five, which is good for 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 factional uh sites by the way like think i've given like they're they're kind of at the level of the blaze as far as i see them on the right senator tim scott's rebuttal america is not a racist nation twitter disagrees and that's their headline that they think is a good thing no america is not a racist nation well you are you are right left you are openly racist and 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 you hate everyone you hate all the races really you really hate all races except for people of color who conform to your particular upside down christ ideology i think that headline is just shows how tone deaf you truly are because this this title in and of itself this is this is a racist title okay well, I'd have to extrapolate more to explain that. Maybe I shouldn't have said that because I can't extrapolate because I don't have time. But uh, you don't have to trust me, but trust me. Media enamored with Biden's speech disgusted by Tim Scott's from Free Beacon. Thalai Rimp. Well, I don't need to read the, the excerpt here. I'm just going to read some of these headlines here. Senator Tim Scott's token response. The Blackwallstimes.com. Wow, there's racism for you. Token response. He's called token. He's a token. He's the token black. That's what they're, they're they're doing there. Tim Scott, only black Republican senator, senator set to respond to Joe Biden's address to Congress. ABC Seven Chicago. See how they only black Republican senator. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're not you're not race baiting there. ABC Seven Chicago. Shame on you. Lone black GOP senator Tim Scott declares America is not racist. Defends Georgia's new voting laws and so to response. Yourweb.com. Also, there you go. Lone Black GOP. Yeah, we know what you're doing there. You're race baiter. Senator Scott blasts Dems for divisive political race baiting. Liberal Twitter brands him Uncle Tom in response. <laughs> it's a, well, you know, Russia, Russia, Ru- Russia doesn't like the SJWs, but there's reason for that. It's, never mind. So there you go. That's that's the state of affairs regarding the Uncle Timming of Tim Scott by the so-called left, which is really the far right left or the right left, whatever you call it. 